Hello, hello, hello. My name is Charles and I want to welcome you to the Guide Principles. In this video, we're going to be talking about what do you bring to the table? I've heard this question asked and answered in a lot of different ways, but right now, this is a very, very important topic. You may have seen on YouTube about the death of an Israeli and his Filipino girlfriend. We're talking about what you bring to the table. This is a topic that is not only relevant here in the Philippines, but in all men and women relationships around the world. What do you bring to the table? This is the stuff that you bring. This is the baggage that you bring to the table. And there might be some baggage that that person brings that you don't want to unpack. Because I talked to my co-host, Michelle, about this topic, and her mother gave her a different story. However, I'm not capable or able to bring to you that story. All I need to let you know is be careful what they bring to the table. They have some things going on here that until you get here, you may not know that it's going on. Like, for instance, if they come from a province, realize they had a life before you got here. They met you as an expat, and they had made some decisions in their life not knowing that a better opportunity was coming along. And then you show up as the better opportunity, but they didn't already made some decisions in their life that affects their current lifestyle. And you could get caught up into some situations that you never even knew you'd get caught up in. But there's also the flip side of this. What does the expat bring to the table? Because I see a lot of harm and damage being done on both sides. For instance, I just recently, I had been introduced to what they call a yaya, and she was cleaning up my house, and I got into a discussion with her, and come to find out, she had six kids. The last child was a two-year-old by an expat Australian, and when she, now according to her, when she had the child, the expat didn't have the documentation so that he could put his name on the birth certificate. We're talking about what people bring to the table, these things that they keep hidden, that hurt both people on both sides. I'm not sparing nobody, not on this one, because that guy and that girl got killed because somebody brought something to the table that they didn't tell the other person about. And so when you come in here to the Philippines, you better be cognizant of that because you're going to be on that cloud nine trip and they can take you out of here on cloud nine, too. Let's keep this real here. People's lives are being damaged here. The other thing that you have to be concerned about is, are they bringing any alcoholism, drugs, mental illness to the table? These things are really important if you're talking about even associating with people over here because there's some problems that they're not, not going to tell you. Do remember Eve lied to Adam. Do not forget that. There are some things that they may not tell you because they're trying to get out of a bad situation themselves. And you could be caught up in a situation through no fault of your own at all. Let me give you some examples. My name is Charles Marketing Maverick Davis in the real world, and I'm a digital marketing brand strategist. I work with companies to restore their reputations and individuals. I've worked with people that once we started digging into what they had out there on the internet about them, they couldn't restore their reputation. There was so much garbage out there about them, they couldn't even, there was no way to clear it up at all. To give you an example, there was a guy who launched a book. And then once we brought the book out and he was on Facebook, 
Then both of his girlfriends found out about each other. And then it started a squabble on the internet. And we had to take it down because he was in the church. He was a deacon in the church. These are the things that you could be caught up in and through no fault of your own. To give you another example, the real problems that I'm experiencing comes through other expats because they have things going on in their life. And because of my association with them, I could be exposed to stuff that don't have shit to do with me. Not a thing. Somebody got into an altercation out there in the street. And I had a phone call from a complete stranger talking about what this other expat was doing. And I don't have nothing to do with it. I don't even associate with him anymore. Because I said, wait a minute. You all have some reputations that cat came with you before I was here. I don't have none of that. I came in here with a clean slate. And I'm going to keep it that way. Because I don't want to get caught up in no drama, no problems, because of who I associate with. Because they talk about birds of a feather flock together. So I'm real careful about who I get together with. But let's get some more into this. Realize that that Filipina had a life before you got here. She was taking care of herself. How was she doing it? Has she really divulged to you how she was really living her life before you got here? Because realize they were taking care of themselves before you got here. And now what are you going to bring to the table when something goes on in your life and they have to revert to their survival skills until you can get yourself back on your feet? Like, for instance, I've covered this in other videos. If she's on YouTube, realize there are men talking to her. Will your insecurities show up when you go down? Things she was doing to survive and support her lifestyle, which are harmless on the surface, are you going to be able to deal with it? That's, these are real things. What do you bring to the table? What about your insecurities? How about your family back in the States, are they going to deal with this? There was a guy here. He died here a couple of weeks ago. He'd gotten married to a Filipina, and she was under the impression that she would be financially okay if anything happened to him. He passed because he had had two strokes before he got here. We're talking about what you bring to the table. Your health issues is one of them. What are you going to do if something happens to her or yourself? He passed. They thought and she thought she was going to be okay. Come to find out, he left her penniless. And she, they, he's been knowing her for a while and they got married. And now he didn't pass. And she had to go back to the province in shame. Because she had married an expat, and he died, and he left, him, left her with nothing. We're talking about how these people are being harmed by what we bring to the table, and we don't tell them. One of the things that I'm really, really adamant about, about anybody bringing into my life, do you have the intelligence and the willingness for us to create a life? If you look back at one of my videos with the True Girl, we talk about the consequences that go with being on YouTube. Because that means you're going to be noticed. People are going to contact you. Can you deal with that? On both sides, can she deal with it? And can you deal with it? Are you secure enough in yourself? For you to deal with her being noticed, having outside contacts that have nothing to do with you. These are the things that you have to consider. Also, what are you going to do if your money gets messed up? 
This is a biggie. This is a big one. What are you going to do when your money gets messed up? It could be something as simple as, you know, Social Security messed up. You didn't send your uh, I'm alive letter back. Something. It could be It could be just a straight up mix up. What are you going to do? Because one of the things that I'm really adamant about is that if I'm going to pick up with anybody over here, I got a list. Number one, we ain't touching either other, either of us without an HIV test. This is the real world. If you listen to what's happening in Texas, the women are actually giving HIV to the men on purpose. I made sure I stuck, stuck, I made sure I stayed away from those behaviors. But that doesn't mean that they stayed away from them here in the Philippines. Now, the last thing is, and this is for everyone, how are you going to support yourself financially in the Philippines? A lot of people see us on YouTube as content creators. That thing is about to change. If you want to know more information, my other channel, the Ultimate Brand Design Channel, you can tune into that channel as soon as I get through with this video, I'm going to make another video about the changes going on on YouTube with social media, and that's going to affect the income of all YouTubers. If you don't know have a strategy and know why you're doing this, you may have a problem. If you like this video and it's been of value to you, I would appreciate that you click like, click share, and subscribe. Comment below. Let me know what you want to learn. And if you want a consultation, about how to make money on the internet. I help professionals, experts, and consultants bring their brand and personal business online with one-on-one -on -one coaching through the Marketing Maverick program. My name is Charles Davis. Thank you for watching.